Meet me. All right, boys. Welcome back. And today we have a brand. We still have Lula up on the banner too, but we have Astromancer Elena to get. Well, I'm at 199 now. I guess some of the ah, probably because I was 10 pulling before. So we're gonna try and get her. For those of you who missed my preview video, um, honestly, I don't think she's that important. Um, you know, just looks like some kind of cleave unit. I guess for regular arena, she might actually be pretty good just because, you know, you could get rid of some of those annoying counter teams that might RNG you to death. Um, because her soul burn does ignore effect resistance. Obviously, it means you need to bring a mage then, but it means you have like a guaranteed way of shutting down counters. But overall, I don't think she really does all that much. And there are plenty of existing counters to counter units already. So... Meh, but I'm a squirrel and I'm a hoarder, so obviously we have to get her. So we're going to join the predominant pulling channel. Got to throw in our obligatory meat meat. And uh, I think we do seven cancels. I think seven's the lucky number. <sighs> so hopefully we don't have to pity this because um, I don't really even want her and I want to keep Mystics because I'm not really buying pack so much anymore um but i will say and hopefully i don't jinx myself my ml luck has been really good lately and my rgb luck has been terrible i think i've like pitied like eight out of the last 10 rgb heroes but i haven't had to pity the mystic ones um, which is why i have so many mystic bookmarks especially with that mystic story thing out so let's see let's see if i end up having to pity this and, you know, if I do, maybe it'll be good because I'll actually be able to save Covenant book bookmarks because I'm always out of them lately. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, we're just going to let it play out because uh, ML units hate being interrupted. They want you to, you know, really wait and enjoy the experience. Okay. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, so it's just Wanderer Silk. That's too bad. All right, so we got a shiny, though. I'm going to revert to single pulls. That would have been crazy if we actually got um, Astromancer Lane on the first 10 pull. I mean, I have done that before on other heroes. Zerato's on the banner. I actually don't know what the, uh, when we get to a multiple of 10, we'll check the banner. I don't actually know what's on it. So I'll tell you guys who are more patient than me if you should wait or not. Destina, that's not bad. Last tea time, pretty met artifact. What's next week? I guess if you want, if you're a Flicka user, that's actually not bad. This thing, meh. Um, so yeah, it's really up to you, but Destina's pretty good right now, so I guess that's fine. I actually wouldn't mind getting Destina. I actually have to build Destina. She's really good right now. I just um, never built her. Okay, we'll go back to 10s. Ooh, 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 oh boy. All right, what is this? Oh, yes. All right. What did I say? My mystic luck is on freaking point, guys. What was that, like 20... One summons or something? 30 summons? Well, I think I started around 12,000 mystics, so, um... Yeah, I only had to go through, like, one to... So, yeah, there's something wrong with my account. These mystic banners are just straight on money for the squirrel. Straight on money. But uh, everything else is kind of garbage, so, um... I actually don't really know how I'm supposed to build this hero. Um, because in the showcase, if you guys remember... She did, like, dog water damage, but we don't know how they built her. So, for all I know, the multis are actually good, and she hits decently hard. Um, let's check if I have any Elena's sitting around in storage. If it is, maybe I five-star her right now. If not, I'll probably just wait. Um, I might have actually used all my Elena's to five-star or six-star my regular Elena. Oh, wait, I have three of them. Alright, well, if I have the dogs, we're going to six-star this right now. 
Let's make some room now. What the hell is in my inventory? Probably just a billion dogs because I'm so la I've been using dogs to promote dogs lately because I'm so lazy. Alright, this works. That should be enough room. We're going to six star her just so we could kind of get a sense of what kind of stat line she could get. And uh, because we pulled her so freaking early. So let's snag her out of storage. Let's grab our three Elenas. And hopefully I have two five-star dogs, otherwise this is going to end here because I'm not going to deal with that on this video. One. Blue stacks lag. This is why I don't RTA much. Um, I know you guys have been asking if I'm going to upload. I've lost so many matches to blue stacks hiccups. Um, and usually I don't really like playing on my phone that much, so a lot of that combination just led to me barely doing RTA. But, uh... Well, I'll try to sneak into Emperor on the last day or something. I don't think I'm that far. I got knocked out recently, though. Let's see. She's a Light Ranger, right? Yes. So, of course, we got to lock it. Got to max out her level. Boom. And let's get our newest six-star ML. One, two, three, four, five. And she's at S imprint now. That's right, right? I didn't use my regular Elena by mistake or something. I'll weaken her up to four stars, because you don't need any um, catalysts for that. And I'll try to do a showcase of her at some point. I think I might be a little tied up this weekend, but um, we'll see. We'll see. And I'll try to use her in regular Elena. I, I don't think she'll be that useful in RTA and I'm not going to give her last two awakenings yet so stat wise she's going to be a little bit shy of what you can accomplish with her but that's okay oh she has a crit damage awakening oh that's not that common attack percent crit chance so that's actually a really important awakening then um so she has no speed awakenings like I wonder what happens if I just give her acids gear like, if I just used her as, like, a, a weird damage initiator. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to play it out with her, because I don't actually know how you're supposed to build this thing. I'll need to do some thinking about it. Um, now we need speed set. Maybe something like this. Wow, she has, like, no crit chance, though. I guess I need that last awakening. Um... Okay, I doubt that this is the build, but yeah, this is like probably my best speed gear, and I still can't hit 300, so not that fast. Definitely not a convincing turn one initiate or something, but again, um, I think she's just supposed to follow up with uh, someone, which is kind of awkward, though, because her CR push requires someone to attack after she goes first with her S3 and applies that buff. So I don't know, I just think she's really awkward to use, but we'll find out. I'll try to do a showcase with her soon. So anyways, best of luck to you guys. Make sure you go and do the meep meep. Now look, there are people are here already. Hi YouTube, hello Charles Sue, and the rogue says it was fast. It was very fast. Alright, so anyways, thanks for watching. Best of luck on your pulls. Until next time, peace out boys.